Okay, so every number, I put this up already, but every number that is greater than one has an array. And every number can have an array by at least one. Meaning, if I erase all this, Okay. What is my array? One times three. One times three. Can I make any other arrays besides three times one? Right, I can do a three times one. Can I do any other numbers to make up that array? Or an answer of three? No, we're doing multiplications. If I want my product to be 3, can I use any other combination of numbers? No. I want my product to be 3. That means I have to be multiplying. What do you think, Jalen? No. no. What do you think, Aiden? No. No. How many do you think no? Right. So, in this case, it's just 3 and 1. That's the only array I can make up. But what I want you to which I want you to notice is that every number that's greater than one, so starting with what number? Two. Two. Two and all the numbers after have at least one times that number to make an array. So if I gave you the number, this number, what number is that? Three thousand do I know any numbers that I, any arrays that I can make for that? No. Um, yes. 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 What array can I make for that? Raise a hand if you can tell me. What array do I already know that I can make for that? I mean, it's going to be busy, but yes, Owen. Right, I can do 1 times that number. And it equals 304. There you go. So I know that I can do at least 1 times that. Does anybody remember when I have two numbers and I multiply them? This one is called the product. What are these two called? Have any? Factors. And that's what we're talking about today. Uh, Intro. Today's lesson. Okay. A factor is a number multiplied by another number to find a product. And that's what I was just showing you on the board. Every whole number greater than one, one has at least two factors. What are the two factors that we have? Every number has. Every number greater than one has two factors. What are those two factors? I just gave you that number three thousand four hundred sixty-one. What are the two factors, Benny? Uh, we're not doing division right now, but I think you're trying to use the, the word. Your, what do you think, Jaden? Okay. It's way simpler than you guys are thinking. Every number has at least two factors. There could be more. Aiden. One and that number, right? So every number, no matter what number I give you, it has two factors. It has a one and it has that number. So if I said, okay, I want you to find all the factors of a number, and I'll explain what that means in just a minute. But if I gave you the number 18, and I said, I want you to find all the factors of 18, right away you have two. You know that one times 18 are two of the factors. So first, Foremost, at the very beginning, you have 1 and 18. That has at least two factors. Okay? Now, a lot of numbers have more than two factors. So every number has at least how many? Two. 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 A lot of numbers have more. Let's look at some examples of numbers that have more. Look at the number 16. 
What are the first two factors we know it has? One, One and 16. Those are the first two factors we know it has. What's another way we can multiply to get the number 16? Preston? Four times four. Four times four. So another factor is? Four. four. Am I going to say four again? Here's why. In factors, if we're trying to figure out all the factors of a number, we don't have to say four again. We're looking, the question we're asking ourselves is, what number goes into that number? You can divide that number by what? Can you divide 16 by 1? Yes. yes. You, can you divide 16 by 16? Yes. No. no. Yes? And you get 1. No, you get 1. 16 goes into 16 one time. Oh. Can you divide 16 divided by 4? Yes. Do I need to ask myself that question again? No. 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 So anytime you see a number already, if it's a, the same number, you don't need to write it twice. Okay? Can you divide 16 by any other numbers? Yes, what can I divide it by, Rachel? Um. <coughs> or what other two numbers multiplied together make 16? Two and eight, right? These are also factors of 16. Are there any other numbers, maybe that they didn't put here, that when you multiply them, they equal 16? Can anybody think of any? Well, dividing, you can say 16 divided by a number, but we uh, did we get them all? Yeah. Yeah, we already, I think we already got all the factors. Okay. So, there's an example of 16. Let's practice with um, number, a number, um, act, or activity here. It says, model and record the factors of 24. Count how many boxes are right here in this little blue thing here. Go ahead, right now, count them. And your book is fine. I'm on page 193. Raise your hand when you count it. Okay, how many class? 24. 24. What? No, we don't need to do the stretch, 24. All right, what is, um, what are my factors? What is my array here? What's this one? Two, and this is 12. So one of my factors is, one of my um, arrays is two times 12. So my factors in that case are two and 12. Can I create another array for 24? If you have an idea of which numbers I should use to create another one, raise your hand. What do you think, Adney? Six and four? So I'm going to do four and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes? Four and six. So six. 4 times 6 equals 24. What are my factors? 4 and 6. So, so far I have 2 and 12, 4 and 6. What is another array I can draw? Sophia. 8 times 3. 8 times 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 and 8. So 8 times 3, what are my factors? 8 and 3. 8 and 3. Of one more. What's my one more I can do? 8 in. Oh. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 and 24. Let me see if I can get here. I'm going to count first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Phew! Okay, so that whole thing. Okay, 1 and 24. 
1 times 24. What are my factors? 1 and 24. 1 and 24. So I have 2, 12, 4, 6, 8, 3, 1 and 24. Now it's asking me to list the factors from least to greatest. So if I asked you what are the factors of 24, I'm looking for an answer with the numbers in order from least to greatest. So what is the lowest one of all those? One. One. So I'm going to cross it off so I remember that I did one. What's the next least? Three. Two. Two. It's up here. Then? Three. Three. Four. Then? Four. Four. Then? Six. Wait till I ask, please. Then? Eight. And then? Twelve. And then? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay, so now we've just come up with all the factors in 20, that make up 24. Okay, what if I was doing the list for this group up here? Let's do them in order from least to greatest. Okay, what's the first one? One. One. Two. 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 Three. Four. Four. Eight. 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 Sixteen. Sixteen. Do I have to do the four twice? No. no. Okay, use the arrays to name all the factors of 12. So what is the first array? Look at the first array. You can look up here or you can look in your book. What is the first array, class? 1 times 12. 1 times 12. What is the second array? I want you to think and count first and I'll ask you in just a minute. What is the second array? Four, Four times three. three. Four times three. And look at the third one. Don't answer. What is the array? Six times two. Six times two. So our factors are, we've done one. What's the next one? Two. Two. They've done three. What's the next one? Four. And they've done six. So what's the last one? Twelve. Twelve. Go ahead and write them down. Okay, we did skip a problem at the bottom of the other page, and the, it, all it was talking about was factor pairs. Um, in this case, our factor pairs were 1 and 12, 2 and 4, I'm sorry, not 2 and 4, three, 4 and 3, or 3 and 4, and then um, 2 and 6. Those are our factor pairs. We missed that on the other page. And that's all it is. What two numbers multiply together to equal 12? So which ones are factor pairs? All right. Use tiles to find all the factors of the products below. Now, obviously, we're not using tiles right now. We're just doing it on the grid paper. What is an array that I can do to make... What is an array I can create to make five? Raise your hand when you can think of what array can I do. Angela. One, One times five. So go ahead and draw your array. What are the factors? I want you to sit down and you're not asking me any questions right now. Okay. So what are the arrays? I mean, what are the factors in this? One and five. One and five. I'm going to put them over here. Are there any other numbers that multiply to equal 5? Are there any other arrays that I can make? Yes. It's the same factors, though. So we're thinking of a different one. One that's going to give us different factors. Are there any? No. No. Because we're doing factors, meaning multiplying. I know 2 plus 3 equals 5, but we're not... We can't do 2 plus 3 in an array. We're doing a full array for multiplication. So the only factors for 5 are 1 and 5, and I'm going to put those in order from least to greatest. So go ahead and do that. 20. What is one array I can make for 20? Antonio? 5 times 4. 5 times 4. So I'm going to go down 4 and over 5. Go ahead and make that array, everybody. Here, 
I'm actually going to write one here. Boy times five. <coughs> okay, what's another one? Luna. Ten times two. Ten times two. Two. Go ahead and write your... And that was 2 times 10. Alright. 1 times 20. I'm going to do that down here. Or 20 times 1 is fine. 5 times 4, 10 times 2, and 20 times 1. But are there any other arrays we can make that use different factors? Is that a yet? yes? Yes or no? No, there's no more. Okay, so let's put those in order from, from least to greatest. What's the first one? 1 yeah. times 20. No. What's the first one? 1. one. What's the second one? 2. two. What's the third one? Four. And then? Five. And then? Ten. And then? Twenty. There you go. Those are all the factors for 20. Do you have a question, Antonio? No. Nope. The next one you're going to do on your own, go ahead and take a minute. Draw your um, arrays and write down your factors on the side like I did. All righty. Who would like to share what they got? Ooh, lots of people. How many of you like this lesson? Okay, Christine, what did you get? One, five, and? Twenty-five. There you go. She got one, five, and twenty-five. She should have an array of five by what? Five. I think it is many. One, two, three, four. So she should have a 5 by 5 and a 5 by 25, which is the whole thing, it looks like. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, 1 by 25. I'm sorry. I missed that. 5 times 5 and 5 times 25. And we only use the 5 one time because we don't need to ask ourselves the question 25 divided by 5 twice. So that's that. Do you have something to add, Andy? Yeah. 